It may seem like it's too early to do this, but it's just six weeks, six resets until the next season. So with six resets, why is it important that you start doing bounty prep now? Well, that's because to get the most bounties and the most XP, so you can get up as quickly as possible for the day one raid, but also for all the artifact mods that allow you to do all the really cool builds and everything in next season, you need to start now because of XP plus plus bonuses that start in rotations starting this coming week. In this video, I will go over the particular bounties that you need to be collecting now between now and reset in six weeks again to get the most xp as possible so that it'll be easy for you with that and seasonal challenges to get all the way up to the end of the artifact and get all those mods that you want so first off if it's not clear already the way that bounties work in Destiny 2 these days are XP++, XP+, and XP. Your XP++ or your 12K, your XP+, or your 6K, those are the only things you're going to need to be concerned about going to the next season. The other key is while you're getting the XP++ ones done, you can also work on XP+, bounties that are in the same area. Let me walk you through what some of the key ones are. On Neo Muna, there is a new XP++ bounty that's actually pretty easy to do. It just requires you, first off, you have to finish up the Light Vault campaign. But once you do that, you'll, all you need is to go to whatever the active zone is on the Amuna for that week. Use Strand to get kills. And with so many kills, you'll get shell code fra fragments. You need to get a number of those. I think it's eight to get the first part of the bounty done. Then you need to do a terminal velocity and open the chest. There are four XP++ bounties that you can get either from the Lectern or from Eris. And again, while you're doing these, you can also be getting XP++ bounties as well because the ones on the moon are very, very simple and easy to do. The Cosmodrome has two XP++, again, which are really simple. And at the same time, you can be also getting XP++ bounties at the same time. The Dreaming City actually has seven and, and most people who've watched this video are really, wait, seven? How's that possible? Well, you have the one for the Blind Well, but you also have one each week for the Ascended Challenge. The Ascended Challenge has a different name each week, the actual bounty. So you can actually do six of these. It just requires doing what are relatively easy challenges on each of your characters. Xur has one. So again, if you have the 30th Anniversary Edition, you should be able to do that. Europa has a total of four. First off, it has a standard one for doing patrols and things like that. But then it has a one for each of the three Empire Hunts, which again, happen on a weekly rotation. And then Hawthorne has a total of eight, but they rotate through. So they're three for Crucible, three for Gambit, one for Ray, one for Nightfall. And these you have to do with your clan. So if you total those up together, that is a total of 26 XP++ bounties, which again, are gonna give you a big jump start on the competition. And because the Dreaming City one is on a six week rotation, you really need to start now if you wanna get these complete it in time for the next season. In addition, what I would recommend then is because you have 63 slots for your bounties, you want to leave a few of those free because you don't want to fill everything up, right? Because if you fill everything up, then if you have quests or other things you have to pick up in the next season, you want to have space for them and it's just going to be a pain to kind of deal with. So what I would do in addition is I would pick up seven, seven XP plus bounties from each of the core activities, Crucible, Vanguard, Gambit. That'll make it easier next season when you want to do an additional bounty in the next season to actually get the weekly challenges done and to get your powerfuls and to also get the extra XP from that. So I would do that. So if you do that in total, that's gonna to be a total of 47 bounties. What I would do in addition to that then is then take 13 bounties from anywhere. Again, you could have done it from one of these areas. I would be doing it while you're doing your moon bounties or your Cosmodrome or one of those areas. Just get XP plus that in total will take you to 60. Now with that and doing the seasonal challenges in the next season, you'll be able to, within the first day or so, be able to get all the way to the end of your seasonal track. And then because of that, you'll have all the mods that you'll be able to do, do all the cool builds and things that you will see on this channel and other channels. That's really the video, guys. I want to make it short and sweet, but I want to also make sure you understand that if you do want to do the prep, do it now. Don't kill yourself. But each of these are fairly easy to do. Just require some time every week and you save them up and get a jump start next season. That's a video. If you like the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.